In example two, again, you're given a triangle, and I want you to list the sides and the angles in order from smallest to largest. Take a moment, work on this one yourself. When you're ready, resume the videos and check your solutions. Well, we're given two angles of this tri triangle, and we remember that all the angles in a triangle sum to 180 degrees. Meaning if one angle is 27 and another is 29, we can do 180 minus 127 minus 29. We're left with 24 degrees. This third angle must be 24 degrees. Because we're given angle measures, let's start with those. For our angles, our smallest is the measure of angle X, which is 24. That's less than the measure of angle Z, which is less than the measure of angle Y. We can now talk about sides. Angle X is the smallest angle, meaning side YZ is the shortest side. YZ will be less than, angle Z is the middle angle, side XY is than the middle side. YZ is less than XY. Lastly, angle Y is the largest angle, making side XZ the longest side. Our angles are measure of angle X is less than measure of angle Z, which is less than the measure of angle Y. Our sides, we get YZ is less than XY is less than XZ. Next, we're going to talk about some new theorems, the triangle inequality theorem. Before I move on to that with the next video, make sure that these two theorems make sense to you. That the longest side is always opposite the largest angle and vice versa. The shortest side is always opposite the smallest angle and vice versa.